Remote operation. It's not exactly a new technology. It's not out of the ordinary at a media event or a trade show to see one of the big construction equipment OEMs pull out one of these massive remote controls with the neck strap and start whipping around a bulldozer or another piece of equipment with it. However, it's also not commonplace on most construction job sites. Uh, it's a considerable investment in the remote, just the remote control itself. Um, and a lot of operators are just kind of frankly uncomfortable with doing anything with their equipment while they're outside the cab. It just doesn't really make sense in a lot of applications. It's a very niche solution to very specific problems. But I think Bobcat might be about to change all of that. This looks like a pretty mundane video here with uh, a operator outside the cab and the machine working next to them. But if you look closer, perfect. Is that an iPhone? Is that an iPad? <laughs> and yes, it is, they are. And Bobcat has just unveiled a new software platform that will allow you to control their skid steers and compact track loaders with your iPhone and with your iPad within just a few taps of an app. I'm Wayne Grayson, online editor for Equipment World, and I've got all the details on Bobcat's new Max Control System. Bobcat is bringing the same easy, touchscreen friendly remote operation that drones have benefited from to its skid steer and compact track loaders. Max Control allows operators to open up an app on their iPhone or iPad and take control of a nearby compact loader within seconds. So Bobcat says this new control system isn't actually just for new loaders either. It can be retrofitted on about 250,000 loaders in the field right now. In fact, compatibility with Max Control is open to all compact track loaders and all skid steers with selectable joystick control on the M2 series lineup and later. If you want to control the machines with something a little bit more tactile, the system can also be controlled with iOS compatible game controllers. During the media event in Denver, Bobcat demonstrated use of Max Control with a Steel Series Nimbus controller and it was connected to an iPhone. During that demonstration, we were able to watch as the demonstrator quickly switched between use of the controller and the phone's touchscreen while operating one machine. Bobcat said it's also working on extending Max Control to Xbox controllers. Now, does Bobcat expect everyone to just go out and start operating their skid steers and compact track loaders with iPhones and iPads all the time? No. Bobcat says that, like traditional remote control methods, this is still intended for specific situations. Bobcat says the system is meant to function as, quote, an extra set of hands when help is limited, allowing quick two-person jobs to be handled by a single operator, and enabling operators to avoid repeated trips in and out of the cab. Plus, operators can even employ multiple machines for a given task, switching control between compatible machines within the Max Control app. So the other cool thing about Max Control is that it's really easy to get up and going. Like the retrofit and the installation for Max Control, they're, they're pretty much the same thing. Basically a black box is attached to the machine and a single wiring harness is required to bring the uh, cables down from that box into the, uh, into the back of the machine. It's actually, it hooks into a diagnostic port on the back of the machine. So I mentioned drones before um, and that's not just kind of related to the phone-based operation that you see with uh, consumer drones like, like DJI, the little Mavic Pro that kind of folds up and you can throw it in the air and uh, start telling it where to go with your phone. It, it's not just because of the phone-based operation, it's also because Bobcat is planning to launch features for Max Control that include program navigation and obstacle avoidance. And that is where you open up the Bobcat Max Control app, uh, you select a place on the map, where an obstacle lies that you want the machine to be sure to steer clear of. And Bobcat says, regardless if you're doing the remote operation with the app or if it's being operated by a person in the cab, the machine will actually stay away from those obstacles. The second feature that Bobcat is going to add is called program navigation. And if you've ever uh, messed around with a drone for, for, for more than an hour or so, you've probably dug into some sub menus and found some kind of 
uh, ways uh, or modes that you can set the drone into uh, kind of doing these pre-programmed tasks. And in the same way, Bobcat says you'll be able to either get in the cab and hit the record button and carry out a task, and then the app will actually record everything you did while you were doing that task, and then you'll be able to get out of the cab, hit play, and the Skitsier Loader will repeat exactly what you just did on its own. It can also be used for things like uh, trailering. Uh, Bobcat says you'll be able to tell the machine from the app to go from point A to point B. So you'll actually be able to go um, between waypoints with the machine. Um, so there's, there's tasks like trailering or you know uh, uh, putting the machine up for the night on the job site. Certain little tasks like that, they're actually going to automate through the app. Um, so it's not full-on automation, but it, it's pretty close and it's definitely convenient. So you're probably wondering, okay, great, uh, iPhone and iPad-based control, but it's probably on down the line, right? Well, while Bobcat says that you know full machine automation is still a, a ways off, it's being really aggressive in bringing touchscreen-based, phone-based, tablet-based control to its heavy equipment. So actually, the part of Max Control that allows you to operate the equipment from the app on your iPhone or iPad, that's actually shipping in October. Um, it's going to be a limited release, but Bobcat says that it's ready to go out the door right now. Now, the obstacle avoidance and the program navigation, those are definitely a little further off, but um, within the next couple of years. So that's it on the new Bobcat Max Control. Uh, what do you think? Is it something that uh, you might use? Um, is is uh, does, uh, does the iPhone, iPad aspect of this whole thing, the kind of convenience of doing remote operation, how does that sound? Does that sound like you might use it a little bit more due to that added convenience, or are you still not uh, interested at all in, in remote control opera uh, operation? Uh, regardless of, of your viewpoint, let us know in the comments below, and uh, it'll be interesting to see the feedback on this, because it's, it's definitely like a cool feature, and, and Bobcat is definitely getting really aggressive on technology uh, with its new machines, but um, let us know what you think. So that wraps it up. Uh, if you wanna get more videos on construction equipment, work trucks and pickup trucks, be sure to subscribe below and also hit the bell for notifications uh, for whenever our new videos do drop. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.